This is Pluto, a now well-known sight thanks to NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which flew by in July 2015, allowing us to see the icy world in unprecedented detail for the first time. The mission revealed stunning images of frozen nitrogen cliffs, massive shards drifting across icy plains like icebergs, crevices deeper than the Grand Canyon and the iconic heart-shaped region. Despite these high-resolution images, a large portion of Pluto remains shrouded in mystery. The far side, opposite the hemisphere we're familiar with. So, what does the other side of Pluto look like? Hello, and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe for more. When Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto over 94 years ago, it was just a tiny speck of light, barely detectable by the most powerful ground-based telescopes of the time. It wasn't until 1996, with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, that scientists began to see surface details on Pluto, revealing a planet with more large-scale contrast than any other in the solar system, except for Earth. Then, in 2015, after a nine-year, five-month journey, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft arrived and discovered a far more dynamic world than anyone had anticipated. Unlike many other planetary missions, New Horizons did not go into orbit around Pluto due to budgetary constraints, time limitations, and the spacecraft's high speed, over 84,000 km per hour at arrival. Instead, it conducted a flyby, with the closest approach lasting only a few hours. The reason we only have high-resolution images of one hemisphere is that Pluto rotates once every 6.4 Earth days. So as New Horizons passed by, one side was sunlit while the other was in darkness. However, by using images taken from as far as 6 million kilometers away, scientists were able to glimpse the hidden hemisphere. So, what did this strange world keep secret? Although the spacecraft was millions of kilometers away when it captured images of Pluto's far side, the resolution was still 100 times better than what the Hubble Space Telescope could provide for the same region. This allowed scientists to discern some of the more prominent features. In some aspects, both sides of Pluto share similarities. For instance, there are steep ridges called blades on both hemispheres, rising up to a kilometer high like skyscrapers. Scientists believe this bladed terrain forms similarly to penitentes on Earth where snow or ice sublimates, turning directly from solid to gas without becoming liquid. However, penitentes on Earth are much smaller, typically around five meters tall. The most intriguing features unique to Pluto's far side are the long, dark lines crisscrossing each other, found directly opposite Pluto's heart-shaped feature. Scientists speculate that these lines are linked to the formation of Sputnik Planitia, a large, bright area on Pluto. One theory suggests that an impact event with an object over 640 km wide created a massive basin, which later filled with water from an underground ocean. Nitrogen from Pluto's atmosphere then froze over this basin, forming the bright, heart-shaped feature seen by New Horizons. These dark lines on Pluto's far side may support the idea of a massive impact because they could be the result of seismic waves traveling around the planet and creating chaotic terrain on the opposite side. Similar phenomena have been observed on Mars and Jupiter's moon Europa, where asteroid or comet impacts have left behind telltale scars. In addition to the chaotic terrain, there are also significant cracks and fault lines extending from Pluto's North Pole to its South Pole. These fractures might be caused by the gradual freezing and expansion of a subsurface ocean. As this hidden ocean freezes and increases in volume, it could create pressure that fractures Pluto's icy crust. The presence of these cracks, along with Pluto's heart, suggests that there could be subsurface oceans even in the cold, distant Kuiper Belt, raising the possibility of environments capable of supporting life. 
The far side images also revealed that the dark regions seen on Pluto's illuminated side are part of a band that encircles the entire dwarf planet, only interrupted by the heart-shaped feature. This dark band contrasts sharply with the brighter icy areas and is believed to consist of tholins, complex organic molecules formed by the interaction of ultraviolet light and cosmic rays with methane and nitrogen. Unfortunately, the resolution of these images isn't high enough to provide further detail about the far side. While future telescopes may offer better insights, there's nothing like a close-up visit which is unlikely to happen for many years as there are still numerous unexplored planets and moons in our solar system. In the annals of space exploration, few missions have captivated the imagination and curiosity of humanity as profoundly as NASA's New Horizons mission. Launched in 2006, New Horizons embarked on a journey to the distant reaches of our solar system, culminating in a historic flyby of Pluto in July 2015. The mission revealed unprecedented details about the dwarf planet, particularly the far side, which had been hidden from view until New Horizons sent back stunning images and data. These revelations not only deepened our understanding of Pluto, but also sparked new questions about the complexities of our solar system. A Landscape of Surprises the far side of Pluto, as captured by New Horizons, presents a landscape of striking contrasts and unexpected features. The high-resolution images revealed an array of terrains, from towering icy mountains to vast, smooth plains. One of the most prominent features is the presence of Sputnik Planitia, a vast, heart-shaped plain composed primarily of nitrogen ice. This region, located on Pluto's far side, has captivated scientists with its youthful and dynamic surface, which appears to be shaped by ongoing geological processes. The discovery of these varied terrains suggests that Pluto is not a static, dead world, but rather a dynamic and evolving body. The presence of mountain ranges, some reaching as high as the Rocky Mountains on Earth, indicates a history of tectonic activity. These mountains are believed to be composed of water ice, which, at Pluto's frigid temperatures, behaves much like rock does on Earth. Additionally, the smoothness of the plains suggests a relatively recent resurfacing event, possibly driven by the slow convection of nitrogen ice. Geological Mysteries and Cryovolcanism one of the most intriguing aspects of the far side of Pluto is the potential evidence of cryovolcanism. Unlike traditional volcanism, which involves molten rock, cryovolcanism involves the eruption of volatiles like water, ammonia, or methane, which are in liquid or gaseous form beneath the surface but freeze upon contact with the cold environment. The presence of features that resemble volcanic domes and flows suggests that cryovolcanic activity may have played a significant role in shaping Pluto's surface. Moreover, the intricate patterns observed on the plains of Sputnik Planitia hint at complex interactions between Pluto's atmosphere and its surface. These patterns, which resemble the skin of a reptile, may be the result of sublimation processes, where ice turns directly into vapor creating distinctive cellular structures. This ongoing activity highlights the dynamic nature of Pluto's surface, challenging previous notions of the dwarf planet as an inert body. Scientific and cultural significance. The discoveries on the far side of Pluto extend beyond the realm of planetary science. They symbolize a triumph of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The New Horizons mission, a testament to years of planning and international collaboration, demonstrates our capacity to explore and understand even the most distant and enigmatic corners of our solar system. Culturally, the mission has reignited public interest in space exploration. The stunning images and accompanying scientific insights have captivated a global audience, inspiring a new generation of scientists, engineers, and enthusiasts. The voiceover narration, 
which accompanies the visual data, serves as an educational tool, bringing the science of Pluto to a wider audience. It emphasizes the importance of exploration and the profound impact of scientific discovery on our understanding of the universe. Conclusion The exploration of the far side of Pluto by NASA's New Horizons mission marks a significant milestone in our quest to understand the solar system's outer reaches. The stunning images and data have revealed a world far more complex and dynamic than previously imagined, challenging our understanding of planetary processes. As we continue to analyze the data and refine our models, Pluto will undoubtedly continue to surprise and intrigue us, reminding us of the vastness and wonder of the cosmos. The journey to Pluto and beyond not only expands our scientific knowledge, but also inspires a sense of wonder and curiosity that transcends borders and generations.